Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing Power by Mats and Tomlin. The logline reads, when a young drug dealer is kidnapped by a man hell-bent on finding his missing daughter, they must team up to get to the bottom of the mystery of the intense street drug known as Power. So this script was featured on the 2017 Blacklist and was also sold to Netflix in 2017. And the film is currently in post-production, uh, starring and it's starring uh, Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So this is by no means a small feat. This is, uh, you know, it's huge, and it really speaks to the testament um, and strength of this script. So before I get into the analysis of the script, I'll just briefly summarize it. Essentially, we're following a young drug dealer who is 15-year-old Robin, and she is essentially selling drugs because she has to support her mom, who I believe has cancer, and so she needs to support her for, for rent and for therapy. And... Um, She's drugging, uh, sorry, she's selling a drug called power and power essentially what it does is it changes people for about half an hour to an hour and it gives them a certain type of power. It might be invincibility, it might be unbreakability, it might let them fly, it can do anything and for some people it might even just kill them, they may not be able to handle it. And so the government and society doesn't really know how to deal with this because it's giving people a lot of powers and so they're trying to really get to the bottom of who is supplying power. Now this leads us to Art, who is looking into power for his own reasons, namely that he's trying to find his daughter who was kidnapped by some people and he believes that she is somehow linked to the drug power. So he wants to find the source and he believes if he finds the source, he will find um, what happened to his daughter. And so he kidnaps Robin and tries to use her to find out who, who is supplying power and that takes them on this adventure. Now there's this, also this other character called Frank, who is um, a police officer um, and part of the special department that's in charge of power. He also uses the drug to try and enhance his own abilities. And he's also trying to um, find the source of power, but that's to get his old job back because he was fired after it was turned out he was using power. So that's essentially the story. These three are interweaved. And um, I'm gonna go into a bit of the analysis right now. So again, if you haven't read the script, I suggest you guys check it out. Uh, if you are looking forward to the movie, then there's going to be spoilers in here, and I'm sure there's going to be many similarities, so proceed with caution. So there are several clear story devices that really took the script to the next level. The first thing I want to talk about is the unpredictability of the drug power. So the writer makes a very clever choice in that he doesn't keep the power of the, of the drug um, static, in that it can change and varies from person to person. And that was very clever because it added a lot of unpredictability and a lot of suspense, uh, especially when a new character was taking the drug, because we didn't know what was going to happen to them, and we didn't know if they could handle it or not. And this feature also allowed us to play with many different um, types of powers. You could have invincibility, you could have invisibility, you could have people creating fire with their hands, um, or growing into like very large giants, and so essentially it allowed for the writer to play with lots of different types of powers and create a sense of um, unpredictability on the streets and that we don't know what our characters are going to encounter and you know will they be able to overcome these types of powers. The other aspect of it was there was a very unique angle in the script, mainly that we've seen, for example, lots of scripts where people are selling drugs, but how many have actually explored it through the eyes of a 15-year-old girl? I think this was really smart because it was different and it was unique and Again, as a reader, I didn't know where it was going to go. And that really goes for a lot of the other characters. So like I said, there were multiple characters. There's also Frank. There's also Art. And the thing is, when we're following multiple characters in a script, things can get messy because you need to make sure that the reader connects with each of the characters and can remember them. Um, and here's the thing. All the characters are very memorable in this script. Um, they each had their own types of goals. They had their own personalities. They had their own types of dialogue. And so... Um, for example, at the very end of the script, Frank and Art are basically forced to work together. But that doesn't mean they like each other. They're still at ends. They're still constantly fighting and arguing with each other, and they still don't see eye to eye and have their different ways of, of dealing with it. And so I just think like even small things like that were really important because it still added conflict to the script. It still added a realism to it. And I think that was, um, that was also very good. There's also really good dialogue in the script. Each character, whether they were big or small, had like these memorable traits to it. So for example, Robin, she always spoke with slang and she would swear sometimes. 
And that's understandable because she's like a 15 year old teenager. Then we have Art, who was always practical. He was always pragmatic. Everything he said was done with a purpose. And we really got the sense that he was very goal oriented. He's very focused. He's very determined. And so there were just these types of things. And it really makes a big difference when you're a reader. Like I didn't have to take any notes. I could just follow the story as I went along. The script also took some very unexpected turns, which I also liked. Um, for example, at the very end, and again, we're going to spoil the territory, uh, Art finds the person he's looking for. And when he realizes that A, his daughter, is actually dead and has been dead for a long time, um, he starts killing the drug lord's family, which is his two kids and the wife, by throwing them out the window. Now, it turns out at the end that they're saved by Robin, but still, it you know, Art doesn't know that. And so it added another layer of complexity, and it reminded me of the scene in Sicario, when at the end he does kill the drug lord's family as well. And I think these types of scenes are memorable because they go against the mold. They go against what we expect. If we're following the good guy, we're not going to think that they're going to kill innocent people. And yet, they do. And so, and so when it happens, it really adds another layer of complexity and complication to the characters and just makes them more nuanced. And so overall, I like that choice. If we're going to go into the criticism territory, I think the one thing I would say and I noticed this in quite a few scripts, is there's no like great insight into the human condition. There's no like big themes of the script. Like I took a lot of literature courses in, in high school and university, and so in that we always have to find like what are the thematic, what are the themes of this film? What are what are the topics? Or is it about revenge? Is it about how we deal with loss or with grief? And while there were elements of that in the script, there was nothing like new that I could take from it. There was nothing that I uh, could reflect on and be like, oh, this through this character's journey, I learned more about revenge. Or through this character's journey, I learned about grief or about letting go. Now, that being said, that's just me imposing my specific criteria onto the script. That doesn't take away from the fact that this was a great script and very entertaining to read. So overall, this was an excellent script. It was very entertaining. It was fast paced, thrilling and unpredictable. You didn't know where the story was really going to go. And when we reached the conclusion of the story, uh, my, for myself anyway, I was pleased with it. Like, I felt things were resolved. So the script is definitely worth your time. I highly suggest you check it out if you're interested in writing a fast-paced action thriller type of script. And I look forward to seeing this film on Netflix. Let me know what you guys thought. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching.